Here she is, inmate K eight two nine nine four. K eight two nine. Do I look like a cow to you? I'm a lady with a name. Shit. Uh, Chartreuse, correct? That's the name my mama gave me. I'll be right over there in my office if you need me. Uh, so where you think about putting a camera? Because I was thinking over there in that side of the day room, the sunshine makes my hair look real good. But, um, I mean, you the expert. So, you know, as long as chartreuse look yummy, I'm fine with it. Uh, this is a documentary for radio. What? You mean this just gonna be on the radio? You saying chartreuse ain't gonna be on TV? I told everybody in here that I was gonna be on the real world prison edition. Uh... I'm sorry if if there was a misunderstanding. Shit. But you still gonna put money on my books, right? As soon as we finish, I'll put 200 Canadian dollars in your account. Okay, fine. Whatever. So what's your first question then, Mr. Documentary Man? Uh, let me just say a few words to introduce the material. In 1998... A radio producer was allowed to record in a Manitoba correctional facility. These are the stories of the women inside. Uh, come on now. Yeah, that's right. When I say hard, you say time. Hard, time, hard, hard. When I say rap, you say battle. Rap, battle, rap, rap. battle. That's right, suckers. Shot truth is epic. The rap battle? Oh, yeah, shit. That must have started like two or three years ago. You know, in here, you need things to look forward to, girl. If all your days is exactly the same, you're going to go crazy and shit. Is going crazy something you worry about? I mean, the rap battle started pretty small. I mean, it was just like me and a few girls on the on the basketball court just like dropping bars. But, uh... These days, everybody in the yard won in on it. In fact, last year there were so many people, we had to do a sign-up sheet. Does the winner get a prize? Hold on, baby. Let's walk where we talk. I need to go holler at these ladies. So, uh, this here is the D block. And, uh, these is the best sales that you can get. All the houses is a little bit bigger. You know, because this is the old part of the prison. So, you know, folks love it in here. What's not to love, baby? More room, you know. But uh, in order to live up in this part, they got to give Miss Chartreuse donations every month. See, that's another thing. Up in here, we got actual wooden doors on our houses. The other buildings ain't got that. Out there, you just got bars between you and the world. Open up, Mabel. I know you in there. Don't turn off your TV and act like you ain't home. Get your ass up, girl. Hey, landlady. Come on in. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing. They call me the landlady because I look out for them. You know what I'm saying? I make sure that everything goes smooth up in here. Hey, girl. What you doing up so early? I was uh, just making up some breakfast. Don't act like you don't know what day it is, Mabel. Is it Sunday? You on your way to church? Ever since I lost my job, I've started to lose track of time. Mm Mm-hmm. Girl, it's pay your rent day. Really? Already? Come on, Mabel. I want to finish up so I can catch 10 o'clock yard. I got my beach towel ready and my suntan lotion. Yeah, things haven't been so good lately. Did I... I tell you, I lost my job in the kitchen. Mm Mm-hmm. It don't smell like you're doing so bad. What you got there? Fresh eggs you frying up? Looks like you got the whole goddamn spread. Coffee, toast, baked beans. Well, you know, this is all stuff I picked up before I got fired. Look, cough up two soups today, and tomorrow, Big Mama Chartreuse is going to find you some work. Uh, here, but 
Seriously, if you got any jobs for me, I could really use the work. You know I got this yard stitched up. If I hear of anything, I'm gonna hook you up, baby. Can you believe that? I put her up in a luxury suite, and she tries to weasel her way out of paying the rent. And that's with the discount, because she's been here for so long. I charge most girls two cans of tuna. Is that slang for something? Slang? Nah, man, it's just tuna. You know tuna fish, chicken of the sea? Who would you say was your biggest competition? Competition? In the rap battle. Oh, yeah, I ain't got no competition there neither, but uh, let me see, for the sake of you making your documentary, um, there's a Lady Ping Pong over there in the E Block. Then who else? Let's see, you got uh, Gold Tooth Mama. And, uh, oh yeah, you can't forget about Chop Susie. That girl can spit some fire. I guess, if I'm gonna say, out of all the girls that's in the yard, the one who can really give Chartreuse a run for her money is Miss Minge. That's what she told you. That Minga thinks people actually call her the landlady. No, no, that's not it. I'll cut all set them straight. We all call her the slumlord. Yeah, that's right. Nothing nice about her. Yeah, she likes to make it sound like she does people a favour. Yeah, moving them into her fancy flats. But the fucking truth is, is that if you don't hand over a fiver, she moves you in here. A block, Hell's Kitchen, hottest nastiest in the yard I mean listen to that you hear that everybody chatting about at the top of the lungs plus it's always like 35 40 C in here that's all Europeans say 95 to 100 degrees yeah right Cuddles you don't need to translate yeah I'm sure they know how a thermometer works I forgot to ask can I get you some ice water ice water Cuddles where are your manners at least offer them a cup of tea my mum sat over some proper English tea yeah, in a tin of biscuits last month. Best tea you'll ever have. Cuddles, put on the kettle. <sighs> yeah, you guys are in for a treat, I tell you. Yeah. All right, then, what, what was you asking me about my rapper name? Yeah. You wanted to know why they call me Miss Minge, right? Yeah, I'll tell you. It's because I love the Minge. Yeah, I'm a Minge connoisseur. Black Minge, brown Minge, ginger Minge. Yeah, I lick it up and down all around. I love the Minge. Once I went all the way to Marrakesh just to get some Moroccan minge. Tell them, Cuddles. Tell them how I love the minge. She's got a sweet tooth, especially for lollipops. Yeah, see, Cuddles tell ya. She knows. I thought minge was slang for vagina. What? You calling me a les? Do you think I go around sniffing fanny? What, you daft or what? I can't like sweets without you coming up here and calling me a todger dodger. Eh, just because I like licking lollies doesn't mean all of a sudden I want to lick beans without toast. He probably didn't understand because he's never heard an English accent. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point, Cuddles. Sometimes I forget how most of the world doesn't have Sainsbury or cheddar. Imagine that, whole countries that have never heard of cheddar. Best cheese on the planet and they don't even know about it. Imagine that. Yeah, fucking hell. And you wonder why... It's so easy for a country like England to go around colonising places, yeah? It's because the Indians just didn't know. They'd never heard of chatter. They didn't understand a bunch of red-faced men were taken over. I think she meant to say Native Americans. What? How so? What? No, I'm talking about India, mate. People from India are called Indians. One Earl Grey. What are you serious, Carlos? You didn't fix me up a cuppa? I'm really fine. Uh, you, you can have mine. Ah, no, no, don't be daft. I'm not going to let you pass up on trying a proper English tea. Mmm. Really good. Yeah, that's right, proper like. 
Yeah, so what uh, what was he talking about before you started on about India or whatever? Oh yeah, you was you was uh, you was thinking I was saying minge when I was actually saying minge. You hear the difference, right? Oh, so you was asking, does the winner of the rap battle get a prize? I mean, yeah, I guess sort of. I mean, it's more complex than that, you know, because like, uh, how can I explain it? You see, the winner gets three grand rap masters, right? You probably thinking, what the hell is that? Okay, so basically that means that if I beat you, I can call you out anytime, any place, and you got to show me respect. So like... We could be in the middle of the chow hall and I could call you over and say, what's my motherfucking name? And you will have to stand up and yell back, you the motherfucking rap master. And I could be like, what? I didn't hear you. And you have to say, chartreuse, you the motherfucking rap master. So, I mean, really, it's all about like winning respect, you know. Oh, yeah. And we throw in a packet of Little Debbie's donuts, too. Um... Excuse me for a second. I just need to collect this last one before they call 10 o'clock yard. Is it against the rules to collect rent? What? Ain't nothing wrong with what I'm doing. I mean, ask Cherokee right over there, right? You know, the guard, that big girl watching the telenovela over there on the TV. If I was doing something wrong or something illegals, Cherokee be giving me an earful right now. Matter of fact, Cherokee started working the yard the same week I got here seven years ago, so we go way back. I mean, rumor has it that she was like this Olympic shot putter, right? Almost won the gold, too. That's what they say. But, uh, you know, uh, those metal shot put balls, they like real heavy, right? You could just look at one and be like, oh, damn, that baby got some weight to it. So what she did was to build her strength up, right? So this bitch will go around with her shot put ball everywhere she went. Going to the Circle K, oh yeah, I gotta get my shot put. Nap on the couch, make sure I'm sleeping with that shot put. So that was like her mental, you know? Like she gotta be one with that ball. So uh, like one morning she went to uh, get some coffee at Tim Hortons. You ever been to Tim Hortons before? Oh shit, ain't nothing like a Java with a Boston cream, man. That shit good as hell. Anyways, Cherokee ordered a cup of coffee to go, and the girl working the counter was, like, excited to be serving a a Canadian Olympic team member. So she didn't even put the lid on correctly. So then Cherokee go to drink the cup of coffee, and that hot coffee spilled down on her titties. You know what I'm saying? So she dropped the shot put, and that shit fell right next to her foot. I mean, just think about that for a minute. If that shot put had landed two inches to the left, she might have broke her foot and ended her career right then and there. So, you know, that was a close call. How did this lead to her becoming a prison guard? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that wasn't really part of the story. You know, that's not the point. You know, I'm just trying to tell you that Cherokee almost was like a great Canadian sports hero. But uh, I guess that's not enough for you, huh? You want to know the grit? The down and dirty, well, that's fine. So, uh, as soon as that shit hit the floor, Cherokee reached across the counter, grabbed that bitch by her neck, pulled her over the counter, and if it wasn't for the captain of the Canadian curling team, she probably would have killed that bitch to death. Hey, Chop Susie, you better be at work, bitch. If I hear you was hiding from me, I'm coming for your ass. So, this is me Sony Walkman cassette tape deck. Yeah. I was a bit gutted when it first came in the post because there was like a nick in the case. But, you know, I had like a bit of gold plating and it started to look proper gangster. 
It's called paint. Yeah, right, but, you know, looks like gangster, don't it? I'm thinking next, like, I'll put some rhinestones all around the front, you know, make it match me teeth. So, here's me demo. Mingy, mingy, mingy. Mingy, mingy, mingy. As soon as I get out to the record labels, I'm going to be, like, at the top of the charts. I mean, Slick Rick did it, right? He recorded, like, a whole album behind bars. Mingy, mingy, mingy. I'm the one doing the beat. Cuddles. Can't you see that I'm trying to talk to the documentarian about the Walkman? It's my prized possession. Her mom sent it to her. Cows, for fuck's sake, I'm talking. Yeah, so there's the yard right here. Over there, you got the library and the commissary. Past that gate is where they got the shoot. Yeah, you don't want to wind up in the shoot. That shit cold as fuck. Uh, over here is where I spend most of my time on the basketball court. I mean, you might look at me and think I can't ball, but Chartreuse will school your ass on the court. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my booty was made for boxing out, but I got all the moves. I can do the pick and roll. I got them post moves like Elijah Wan. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Chartreuse gonna drop that Kobe fadeaway on your ass, too. But, uh, yeah, let's pop a squat right here. Uh, would you mind rubbing some of that suntan lotion on my back? You know I can't be getting sunburnt before the rap battle. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, rub it right there, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. My neck, my back. Yeah, that feel real good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, a little to the left. Yeah, yeah. Hey, put a little extra pressure right there. Like, don't be afraid to massage it. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Well, if it isn't Lady Chartreuse out here peeping my coat, Oh, Miss Minji Minji. You blocking my son, bitch. You're out here deciding the best place to put your tombstone after I bury you tomorrow night. <laughs> tombstone? I'm thinking about where I'm going to put my throne, bitch. Oh, that sounds like somebody's got high aspirations. Fancy a friendly wager? Well, uh, Chartreuse ain't the gambling type, but uh, I guess I could use a new radio. What? <laughs> You are me Sony Walkman cassette tape player. Yeah, you know those radio motors make real nice tattoo guns. Wait, wait, wait. You want to tear apart me Walkman, me pride and joy, to draw Mickey Mouse faces on somebody's tits? I don't care if we make it better or not. You the one that brought it up. All right, then. You win, and I'll hand over me Walkman. But if I win, you're moving me and Cuddles into your flat. You move in? There ain't no space up in there for three people. She doesn't mean all three of us would live in the same cell. Oh, so you want a chartreuse to swap with you? Look, you can move yourself wherever you like, but me and Cattles get your flat. Right, Cattles, give me a beat. No, Cattles, do like that futuristic beat that you do. You know the one. What's the hang-up? You ain't got the chops to battle me. You the last in line at the chip B. Oh, you want to hear a little sample? All right, why not? Honey, please. I smoke you like weed. My lyrics so cut, they make your ears bleed. Best not be hiding in the house tomorrow night. Miss Midge will come for you and lay down your last rights. Hiding out? I don't think so. Chartreuse will pop your ass like a fat pimple. Step into Chartreuse's like, hey, 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 Cuddles, why are you stopping in the middle of my rap? 
It's really hot out here. What are you winding me up? I had the rhyme at the tip of my tongue. Good looking out, cows. Good looking out. Can I get some of that suntan lotion? Fucking hell. Thank you.